Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this little guy right here. This is the Xstar PB2S uh, wi wireless uh, portable battery charger slash power pack station sort of thing. It's not really a good product name for one of these things, but nevertheless, um, first off, in the name of full disclosure, I want to thank Xstar for sending these guys along, for sending this guy along, that is. Um, this is a, a product that they reached out to me by email, said, hey, Nick, you want to check one of these guys out? I said, sure, yeah, actually, it's a good idea. Um, and they, uh, I sent them my full disclaimer available on my website basically told them i'm going to talk about the good the great the bad the ugly might be a gem might be junk they still send it along we have to assume this is best quality controlled one of these ever and i'm doing my best not to let that affect the nature of my review but nevertheless full disclosure there you go next thing size comparison this guy isn't actually that big first off we'll compare it against a standard 18650 battery sitting inside there and a 21700 battery which is also a thing here it is against a cr123 or an rcr123 at the moment um here it is against a spider delica pocket knife and then here it is against the Anchor Power, uh, Power Core 10,000 which is a roughly equivalent uh, portable charging pack uh, with a 10,000 uh, milliamp hour sort of approach. Um, and so there you go. That's your size comparison. Then finally, um, what the heck is this thing? This is a combination of two things. This is both a uh, battery charger. So I can take a battery that isn't fully charged and I can insert it in here and I can plug this in and it will charge that battery. But it is also a power bank such that I can take another uh, device for instance, this iPad, which is sitting just off screen from which I'm reading my review notes, and I can plug this guy in like so, and then it will start pumping current out to that iPad here, and it will start pulling down and down and down and down, and right now that iPad is currently charging. And so this is, serves as both a charger for the batteries that are inside it, as well as a power pack for a, a device outside of it. And then finally, this is actually a revision of the power, uh, the PB2. The PB2S is a slightly different version with a better display and a couple of other improvements. So um, anyways, there you go. Let's go on ahead and talk about what's good about this guy and what's not so good about this guy, and then move on to your final conclusion. So first off on the good side, um, one of the things I appreciate very much is the battery removal ribbon. What that means is this batteries are out. Um, that's a stupid thing, but without that kind of thing, that can actually be really painful. To try and get batteries out of a situation like this can be not great. And so I am a big, big fan of battery removal ribbons, and I think they should be a thing pretty much everywhere that you are removing batteries. So um, th th there you go. It's a nice detail, but it's an important one. Next thing, it has this little cover on here, and this cover is actually held on magnetically. If I just sort of drop it in the area, it will be pulled into position. And actually, one thing I will say is that this guy is pretty robust. I dropped it at a bunch of different varieties of ways, and at no point was I able to get the batteries to come flying out with the uh, the, the, the thing going across the room. I was never able to get that due to, you know, kind of do a yard sale across the room, so to speak. So I appreciate very much that this uh, stays in place. Um, next thing, this guy shows you the charge levels on the batteries on a pretty regular basis. Um, you can get that as soon as I plug this in. I have a different USB 2 cable here, which is actually connected to power. Um, once I plug this in, what you'll see very quickly is the overall charge on those batteries is right now at about 99% because I charged it ahead of the, uh, the, 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 the use here. But actually, I'll kind of leave this guy plugged into that iPad and pull a little current out of him. And now you can see it's giving us out uh, values as well. And so it's pulling down current out of that battery. So I appreciate very much that. Next thing, you can actually use this to charge 18650 batteries, 18700s, which are apparently a thing, 2700s and 21700s. Um, so you can charge a pretty heavy variety of batteries on this guy, uh, which is, is good and, and can put you right in the vicinity of around 10,000 milliamp hour um, out of these batteries. And that's, uh, that's it's a pretty respectable amount of current to hold up in there. And you can actually charge two devices at once. You can charge both the USB-C and off the regular uh, USB, and that's actually a, a great thing. Um, I appreciate being able to charge both your phone and your tablet or something like that if you're uh, needing both of them charged, right? And so that's nice. Next thing, um, this supports very common charging protocols. You can see here on the back that this has output of uh, a variety of different uh, USB output for qual uh, quick charge 3.0, power delivery 3.0, so it also supports power delivery, which is nice. 
at two amps and a bunch of different voltages. I mean, you can get a sense here of exactly what all this is willing to do, but um, it, it actually is pretty versatile in terms of its charging. Next thing, this charges using USB-C, which is something I appreciate very much. USB-C is the wave of the future, damn it. And it's about damn time that we get rid of the, the various hellscape of different USB ports and things like that. Um, I'm, I'm definitely a fan of it, and it seems to do so in a relatively compliant way. I can charge this off of a power delivery charger as well as off of a boring charger. So um, at least least the ones I tried. Um, and so that's that's a very nice thing. Next thing, this is actually a good item to have around for a preparedness sort of thing. You know, I am not a, a prepper in the classical sense, but one of the nice things that it comes with having a bunch of flashlights and unportable chargers and things like that is that when there is a power outage, you are very often pretty good to go, right? Because you can keep your phone charged up, you can keep your tablet charged up. In fact, there have been days where the power's been out all day and I just kept working on my iPad. I was offline, but I don't really care that much. Or I can even use hot. And so this gives you the option to, if you've got a bunch of 18650 batteries sticking around the place already, because you got them for flashlights and such, suddenly all those spare batteries are actually turned into capacity for your devices. You can, you know, swap out the batteries and then put a brand new, you know, set in there. And guess what? You got a bunch more hours there. So this turns a bunch of spare batteries that you have around the house already, perhaps if you're a flashlight geek, into actual, you know, time on devices that may be really important to you down the road. And so I appreciate very much the existence of something like this because although there are lots of USB chargers out there, there are relatively few of them out there that are willing to turn around and deliver that power back out of the batteries to a device. So that's great. Um, Price-wise, this is 25 bucks, And you know what? That ain't bad. Um, Considering that that's about what you pay for most average power packs, um, that, that that's pretty good. You do have to remember that the batteries aren't included, um, and that is definitely a big difference here, but at the same time, see, we've dropped down 1%, and that's put my iPad up uh, about a percent as well. So there you go. Um, but nonetheless, um, you can see here that that, that, that price is just okay. Uh, I'm sorry, that price is okay. Uh, 25 bucks will do the trick, I think. Then finally, um, the best thing about this is that it turns something that would be a unitasker, meaning a, an item that accomplishes just one task in your life, into something that multitasks. You know, I am not a big fan of having, you know, weird esoteric battery formats around. I've said before that flashlight batteries are one of the circles of hell. Um, it's just, it's an ugly situation. And so as a result, though, because I do review lights, I do have things around that are meant to charge 18650s and things like that. I don't do it that often, but it allows me to do it when it comes up. In this case, actually, what I have here is now something that will not only charge batteries, but it turns those batteries back into useful. I mean, and I can throw this, for instance, into my pack, and I have something that both serves as a battery charger and as a battery a power bank. And I think that's actually a nice thing. It gives you a, a, a bit of versatility that you wouldn't have had before. You know, normally a power bank can't do a damn thing for your flashlight, and normally a flash or uh, normally a, a battery charger can't do a damn thing for your phone. And so this allows you to bridge that gap in a way that I think is actually pretty compelling. So I always appreciate anything that allows me to turn two pieces of things that I'm carrying and that I've got in my home into just one. Because, well, then, as long as it's doing both things effectively, then can't argue with that. And so to me, all of that is the good, is that it turns something that would be a unitasker into something with multiple tasks. Um, It's not bad in terms of pricing. It's a good item to have around for preparedness because it turns spare batteries into real usable power. It's using USB-C, supporting common protocol, charges two devices at once with a bunch of different battery types, all in this 18, a greater form factor, though, um, shows charge levels, magnetic cover, and the battery removal ribbon. On the bad side, um, to start with, one thing that's a very big thing is that this only charges batteries that are uh, greater than 650 millimeters long. Um, metric is the, the, the case in all of the, the battery world here, see, 650. Um, but anyways, it doesn't do, for instance, a CR23. If I pull this out, what you can see here is is that the battery post, I mean, I can put a CR123 in there, but it's not doing a damn thing to me. So, uh, you know, yeah, that's something to remember, something to keep in mind. Um, and so I, 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 that's the biggest downside of this guy as a battery charger is that there are going to be sizes of batteries that it simply cannot touch. Um, it cannot do RCR uh, 123s or anything like that. And, you know, for some people, if you're using 18500s or those kinds of things, um, I'm sorry, uh, 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 18350s, uh, then, you know, you've got that as a, a factor there. So um, that's a thing. Next thing, the charging displays are sometimes inaccurate. I found that very often, and in fact, you saw that during the course of this review. I knew this guy to be around 98% capacity when I started off, um, yet when I... Um, 
First plugged in the iPad, it dropped down to 92% for a little while. That's kind of unnecessary, and it came back to the right answer eventually, but it sometimes it will give you weird information on occasion, and that's not necessarily great. Um, next thing, this guy uh, does not include the batteries. That is definitely disappointing to some of the people in the Amazon reviews. Um, uh, but, you know, at the same time, I this is really marketed at people who already have a big stash of 18650 batteries or something like that. I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to, you know, sell it with some big capacity guys right here to bring it up to full power uh, spec there, but that's something to keep in mind. Um, next thing, this guy is, it's a multitasker, but it's also, this is sort of the, the, the nature of the beast, generally speaking. If you have one item that can do two things, very often it's not going to be quite as good at either of those things as something that is a dedicated unit. And, you know, I think that's the case here as well. I mean, if we compare this to your normal battery charges, um, you don't, for instance, get as much uh, diversity in what it's willing to charge. You can't put a CR123 in here. It's a little disappointing, but that's, that's kind of life, right? Uh, so it's a little lesser than a lot of your conventional battery charges. You also get less granular information about each of your batteries, etc., but that's a, that's a factor. But also, as a power bank, it's not quite as good as some of the other options. At its very, very top end, if I were to put two 21700s in here of this particular variety, that's putting me right around the uh, 8400 mil, uh, milliamp hour uh, sort of line. Compare that to this guy right here, which is an anchor power pack that's specced at 10,000 milliamp hours and is considerably smaller on pretty much every dimension, about the same thickness here. But you are able to get a lot more battery uh, power, basically, out of a dedicated charger, I'm sorry, out of a dedicated power pack than you are out of this guy for the amount of space. And so you end up with relatively low power density because a lot of the space in there is being used for, well, this kind of thing, like these kinds of gaps. And in order to get that that kind of high power density, you're going to have to use a kind of a bigger uh, battery anyways, and those bigger batteries aren't what's often used in the EDC world. So there's sort of a, uh, this is going to be a little bit uh, less dense in terms of power uh, pack than your average power pack is, and so you do have to keep that in mind as you're using this guy. So um, to me at least, that's, uh, that, that, that's what's bad here, is that it is a multitasker, and so it's not going to have quite the same versatility as the, the, the original, so it's not going to have the same versatility in charging as a dedicated charger, and it's not going to have the same power density as a uh, dedicated power pack. Um, there are not batteries included with the device, and the, the charge display is a little inaccurate, and I have uh, actually, no, that's that's it. Um, that's me misreading. So, um, final conclusion on this guy. I think at some level, though, despite its limitations, it is kind of a neat idea, right? is it has some very nice features on it, 100%. Um, it's got very, very nice features in terms of the, uh, the, the well, frankly, the fact that you've got two USB ports, one USB-C, power delivery, that's always good. It's got good versatility with batteries as long as you're on the longer battery format, good charger output. Frankly, it's a nice thing to have around to be prepared with. It's not so pricey, and it turns what could be two devices into just one, and that's a beautiful thing. Remember, though, it's not going to work for smaller batteries. It's a little big for the amount of juice relative to other power banks. It's not 100% accurate in readouts, and the batteries is somehow not included. Um, but aside from those issues, I, it's, it's a substantially good thing. I think it's becoming less and less useful than ever, though, because in the flashlight world, which is really where I spend most of my time with, like, we had 18650s and things like that, more and more commonly, USB ports are being built into the lights themselves. And so you don't need a separate battery charger, and frankly, I think that's a better thing, generally speaking. And the, the place where it's, those charges are missing most often is is in the smaller battery sizes, the uh, CR123 sizes, the, uh, oh, what is it here, uh, 18350? I think 18350, uh, 14... Oh, no, this is just the CR123 I put in there again. Either way, um, you are... Uh, the place where you're very often missing those uh, that kind of thing is in the smaller lights that this doesn't help you with anyways. Um, and so I'm kind of hoping very much that charges for weird flashlight batteries sort of become a thing in the past in the EDC world in favor of actual just onboard charging. But that said, this is a pretty damn useful device. It turns two devices into one. It turns spare batteries into spare power. And I think at some level, that's absolutely a beautiful thing. So if you are after the very best battery charger, this probably isn't it. There are other ones with better versatility, things like that, smaller, easier, faster, better, stronger, whatever. And if you're after the very best power bank, this probably isn't it either, because you can get much higher power density with a dedicated sort of thing with, you know, a little bit more logic. But if you're looking for something that does both of those things well enough, then I think this guy is going to give you, uh, well, let's put it this way, it's going to go the X-Star Mile 
for you. Huh? Okay, there you go. Hope this has been interesting to you and have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.